In this session, we're going to touch on doing scanning in your web page. The agenda will be why integrate scanning into your web page, how to integrate scanning into a web page uh, with the codes uh, later. Alright, so um, if you want to get scan data into the web page, Honeywell provides uh, two methods. One is that uh, by default, you know, we have a scan wedge within Honeywell mobility devices. Whatever data scan through the mobility devices, you it will treat as a keyboard wedge into your uh, few inputs. So that's the easiest way for getting scan data into your web page. However, uh, if you want to have better control of the scan engine, like which field you want the data to go into and also modify some data before the data get fit into your web page, you can uh, use Honeywell Web SDK, which is what we're going to touch on uh, today. Alright, so why integrate scanning into your web page? Um, like earlier on I mentioned, you know, there are always situations that uh, you do not want your user to input some data manually. Um, so this is where you require uh, the SDK to control where and when uh, you want the user to scan uh, the barcode instead of input the information manually. Of course, uh, there are also uh, uh, web applications that want to scan items and count them along the way. Uh, this is one of the common requirements. You can do it uh, within the, your web page as well. There are also very common uh, requirements of passing or formatting scan data before feeding to your web page. Um, uh, we will sh uh, show some of these uh, 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 examples later. Um, again, you want to ensure that you are scanning the right data uh, um, so uh, you can control within the SDK. Uh, there are also uh, cases or use case that customer has encrypted data. You will need to decipher the uh, data before feeding into your application. Again, there are many other use cases uh, uh, based on your operation. So these are all can be controlled with the SDK. All right, um, the SDK um, uh, come default uh, usable with uh, as long as you have the license for the enterprise browser. So if you uh, purchase the enterprise browser with the Honeywell Mobility SDK, the license will be included inside there. Uh, if you do not have them, you can always order the uh, enterprise browser or the client pack uh, for that include the enterprise license with it. Okay, um, to uh, get the unit running, you need to ensure that uh, you have the Honeywell setting uh, web application enabled on the device itself before your web application will run. So um, I, will, I will show it to you uh, in a minute, but uh, before that, let's go and download the uh, web uh, SDK. So where do you down, download the web SDK? You go to um, the down, download website, go to software, um, software and tools, developer library. Um, so you can see the SDK for, uh, for web. And scroll down, you can see uh, there's this SDK for uh, Android devices here. Alright, so the current version uh, 1.20 um, ended with 0825. So this is the one you need to download. After you download uh, the uh, SDK, okay, unzip them, and this is what you will get in your SDK. There will be uh, there will be a sample, the library, and document. Okay, the library are basically the JavaScript that you need to uh, copy them over to your um, web application. So we have barcode reader and printers. Uh, today we are going to touch on the uh, barcode reader. Alright, um, so back to your um, document. Okay, so inside your document, what you need to look at is uh, open up the user guide, uh, start up your default um, HTML file and open up the help file and this help file will allow you to uh, 
give you the detailed description on how to use the SDK. Of course, we will look at you know creating a basic uh, barcode um, uh, reading application for your web, right? So this is what you need to look at. All right. The the other thing uh, inside here later on we reference is the um, Marco reader object and you know, all this information that uh, you need to uh, look into uh, later on. All right. Okay. So so what you need to do next is to use a um, HTML editor. I would recommend that you use the Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Alright, so this the uh, my Microsoft Visual Studio Code is a very very uh, nice editor as you can see here. It's highlighted all the code for you, and it also help to you know check certain error if there's a, a syntax error as well. Right, the first thing you need to do is to open up the sample. This is the basic barcode reader sample inside the SDK. Um, so if you go to your SDK under the sample okay but basic barcode reader so this is the html file you know that you can edit um, uh, and play around on how to integrate um, the um, scanning into your web page all right so i already open up here um, there are three files that you required uh, for your uh, or the library file required for you to run your uh, scanning in, in your web page so you go inside the uh, libs js uh, barcode reader so you need to copy the barcode reader dot javascript the uh, aja file and also the uh, swift setting file so these are the three javascript file you need to go together with your web page all right um, so as what i've show i'm i have, have it over here you can see that these are three um, javascript file that i included inside this page called ws.html all right so what i did here is um, in fact i copy the exact html file here but i change it to illustrate how this thing whole this thing work right so basically i i changed uh, some uh, label here so you can see um, these are the label created on on the page so let me show you how the page look like okay on the on the browser itself all right so these are uh, these are how the page look like when you browse to it you have a part with with a few entry serial number with a few entry quantity and a clear button with followed by a lock uh, to show uh, you know any any error or any message as you can see here we fail to create a barcode status because we are actually running on the pc here which does not have the uh, barcode reader on the pc that's why you get an error okay so go back to the code so this is what we we, we did for uh, the the page itself and inside here uh, when the page get loaded we actually do some setup all right so let's go and look at what the, it does on the setup itself so here you can see uh, this is the setup code and uh, don't worry about all this I comment out uh, because this is exactly the same code I copy from basic barcode reader here uh, but I'm not using them here so I only use uh, the uh, the uh, log message element and also the barcode data text here right which I get it from the, uh, the, the log message ID and the part ID Okay, so this uh, setup basically check whether the browser uh, de uh, support detecting of our web page visibility. So here we allow, uh, in order for you to switch between your web page and an application, and you still can uh, can uh, uh, you know use a scanner in multiple application. Uh, so the setup here basically ensure that this is what is going to happen. All right, so one one all these thing is check, you know, uh, we open up the readers as you can see here. All right, uh, the next thing is um, when when the barcode reader is open, we will need to check whether is it uh, everything is good. So here, if the result is okay, which is equal to zero, uh, that means the uh, the barcode reader is uh, open up uh, properly. Uh, one is open up and read in the profile. We can change the profile here. 
Alright, so what do we do? We enable uh, the code 39 and code 1 to it. So where can you find all these uh, uh, setting uh, definition? It's inside the SDK. So let's go back to your SDK here. So if you open up your uh, your SDK, you can see that there are all various uh, parameters here that you can refer to. Like for example, if there is a there's a error you can also refer to them as well um, all right let's look at the printer object and you can see that the, the setting name and value is here so you look at if you look at this uh, we basically look at symbology setting so like the barcode 39 earlier on we talked about okay so the this is a code 39 the option is enable and the value is true or false so if you go back to your code right so you can see that symbology is a family code 39 enable true right so that's where you find uh, get the setting uh, definition from here all right Alright, so one one you have all these uh, setting defined, you commit the setting into to, to the profile that we have read it in, and you add a, a event listener when their data being scanned. Right, so this is the event listener that being created, and also we also add an event listener uh, for window, you know, to to uh, do some job before before uh, you unload uh, this uh, this entire uh, browse browser window. Alright, if, if uh, there's an error, we will show you the error message like, you know, fail to create the barcode reader, which is what early on we, we, we get it on the page here, right? Okay, so this is an error that came out from um, from the page, from, from the code here. Alright. Okay, this is where uh, when the uh, setting is complete, Okay, we, we want to show what is being done. Uh, if not, this is an, there's an error. We we'll show you there's an error of uh, why why the uh, the uh, setting is not done properly based on the family that we have selected up here, like the symbology, the code three nine, and so forth. Right. So if you have an error here, you know it will be shown uh, during the uh, setting process. All right. So when when the um, the commit uh, of the setting is is done you know we can also show error if there is error so this is for us to show the error when there's an issue so they help it for debugging if not you will just skip the function okay there is also an update uh, ui function which we just basically clear all the few you know you can do whatever you want to do here to update your uh, interface when you first started Okay, this is the part that handle the visibility change. They mean when your browser change from event to another opening, and uh, the page get hidden. You know, um, you want to close the uh, uh, readers uh, when when your document is hidden and open again. You know, when your uh, uh, document become visible, right? So this is what uh, the handle uh, visibility change handle uh, function do. And earlier on, we already opened the um, reader, so basically just load from the uh, JavaScript here and close it as well. Okay, yeah, you can just close the reader when you uh, when the window uh, uh, between uh, close up. All right, we also create a click uh, a clear click function here to clear all the few. If you remember, uh, you go back to the uh, web page. If you click on this button, basically we will clear all of you. Right here is uh, before you unload the windows. Uh, you here we want to show a message that you now the barcode reader is uh, need to be closed. Right, so if it's not uh, closed. All right, so this is the most important part here, which is when the barcode. Uh, scanner get some data for you right so you, what we're trying to do here is that we are trying to get scan the data and if the bar data have length, length less than 10 and the barcode type is code 39 we will feed it into the parts uh, field and if the uh, data length is more than 10 and the code barcode type is code 128 we will put it into the uh, uh, serial uh, field 
Alright, and we also show what being scanned uh, on the uh, log here, like the data plus the type. So this is more for debugging purpose. Alright, you can comment out this one uh, in your actual, actual application. But uh, the whole intent is to see things uh, working during your development. Alright, so this is so much on the code itself. Uh, let's get it, uh, run it on, on the uh, device and see uh, it in action. Okay. Okay, let's look at how the code works. Let's go to the device first. On the device, um, the first thing you need to do, as earlier mentioned, go to Hanya setting, ensure that your web application is enabled. Okay, so we are good on that. Next, uh, we start the um, Chrome browser. And here, I already have the uh, address uh, entered in. Uh, as you can see here, it's actually pointing to my uh, PC. Uh, we are port 80 uh, under the uh, uh, web folder of web scan ws.html. Okay, I reload the page, and this is how the page uh, looks like. You can see the bug object successfully created as uh, shown in the message. Um, the, due to the resolution, so the screen here does not really uh, appear in ICD, uh, as what you will see here because the remote display resolution. But anyway, it works. Alright, let's look at the uh, barcode that we're going to scan. Um, so I'm going to scan the first one. You can see that now the PN43 is shown here. And uh, in fact, the data scan is P, capital PN43 and the data type is code 39. So if you go back to the code uh, itself, you can see on rate, barcode data ready uh, method or function. The, we check for data length is less than 10. And the barcode type is code 39, and once we got the data, we convert all of them to lowercase, as you can see here. Alright, so let's scan the second uh, serial number barcode. Okay, so we have scanned the serial number, and you can see that the data go into the serial field, not onto the uh, other field, right? So, so now even if I scan the third barcode, which is the EN, you can see that now the, the EN barcode is shown on the log, but it's not shown on the data up here because we did not get this data into the field. Alright, so, so basically whatever you want to do in terms of formatting, um, passing your data, editing your data, change your data, you know, the, here is where you can do uh, all this uh, uh, job here. Alright, so let's um, try this again. Uh, so you can see that here is PN43. Uh, if I now change the code 39 to code 128, alright, let's change this barcode to code. Uh, alright, and, and let's clear the few here. Alright, I clear all the few. Okay, I scan the PN43, which is code 128, and you can see that it did not go into that um, few inside here, right? So, so that's um, how you control uh, where the data go, uh, what data you want to get uh, from uh, from the uh, scanner. All right. So, um, if you have a further question on um, how to use the SDK again, the SDK uh, help file is really uh, complete. And there are a lot of information here that you can uh, check out there. Uh, and of course, you can always go up to go to um, you know support at hanuelaidc.com and search for um, web scan. Okay, and you will be able to find uh, information on how to how to uh, use um, the uh, web SDK, right? You know, you can also, you know, uh, ask the uh, community for help or post a question to our tech support. All right, so that's all for today in terms of how to integrate um, web scan into your uh, web application. Thanks for your attention.